Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got... Good. Okay, my mute key works. My, my start recording hockey wasn't working, that's weird. I'll, uh, I'll take a peek of this video after I finish recording. Hopefully it's, like, okay. <laughs> and it's just an issue with the hockey, maybe. Oh, I think I had num key off. Num, no, my numpad was turned off. That's that's what it was. Okay. Because so I have control plus numpad 7 to, uh, to start recording. And also stop recording. Um... So I, uh, I was racing in the Type Racer Discord, and I'm pretty good at typing. You know, I don't, I don't know if you've heard, but I'm, I'm a pretty good typist. Um, and uh, I guess they were, one of the people was getting a little bit sick of uh, losing or something. I don't know. They just they were they wanted to go do something else for a bit. They were they were tired of typing. Um, so they 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 opened up like a chess match, and they're just like, "Hey, somebody play chess." I'm like, "Hi." Right. <laughs> um. But, you know, I'm also pretty good at chess, so <laughs> it, was, it didn't really change anything. We played a few games, and I beat them every single time. Um, yeah, I kind of feel bad, because, like, you know, I'm definitely better than them. Um, like, a lot better. Uh, they were, like, 500, I'm 1100, you know? Like, like it's a big difference. You, they can't win against me. Um... You know, it's it's that kind of difference to where it's just like not likely at all that they'll even pull off like any amount of an advantage without me uh, intentionally making a move to uh, to give them advantage just because I think it'd be funny, which I did a number of times. And the analysis says, "Wow, they were up a few points," and I'm like, "Yeah," but it was funny, you know. Um. The, the line that I got to kind of take out of it. Because, you know, you know how they're going to react, right? You know when you're there. Um, so that, without something like that, like, they're just they're just not going to win, right? Um, and even even with that, like, the chances are, are still just unbelievably small. Uh, just because, like, when you're, when you're, like, 500 rated, that's, that's, like, novice level, right? That's, like, you're still learning how the pieces move and, like, how to recognize, you know, what's being attacked and, and what can go where kind of thing, you know? Like, it's, it's a... Uh, there, there's a big, big difference just on a fundamental understanding of the game between like 500 and 1100. Um, is there a stalker over there? Yeah, there's a few of them. Um, but it was fun. And, uh, you know, as bad as I feel for, for annihilating them a bunch of times, um, I like when I get, you know, my butt handed to me. I like when I, uh, when people just give me a beat down in chess. I like winning. Winning is fun, but, uh, you know, you don't learn when you win, right? You don't, not really, anyway. Um, so I, I like, I like the losing as well. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that they at least learned a little bit from the, the matches and, and, and made, you know, they made a lot of mistakes, a lot of things they shouldn't have done, and, and they might perhaps, um, grow as a, as a chess player because of that, which would be good, I think. I'm hoping. Um, kind of reminds me when I played an 1100 rated player when I was like 700 or something. And they were like, wow, you were hard to beat. Now it's kind of the, the tables have switched, except uh, they were not hard to beat. <laughs> Again, like, it's not bad mouthing them, it's just they're a 500 rated player. <laughs> they, they, you know, they don't really stand a chance. It's not a fair competition to begin with, you know? Um, but it's fun still, right? Even if it's not fair, chess is still just fun. They learned some stuff. I got to, you know, I, I don't. It, it was they were rated games. I didn't really get any rating from it. You only get like one rating when you're beating people that uh, with with that much of a difference. But you know, I got uh, like five extra elo out of it. It's something. <laughs> I'll farm them for elo. Uh, no. Um, but anyway, uh, on the topic of typing, I've been. Uh, I changed my typing strategy today as well. So if I type, like, you know, like, that's a lot slower than what I was doing before, right? But in a month from now, it'll be a lot faster, which will be cool. Uh, so what I've done is I'm starting to use my thumbs when I type to hit the space bar. Right now, it's only my right thumb. When I first, first, first started out earlier today, I was hitting with both of them. Um, but as I've been going, it's kind of naturally fallen into... Uh, just using my, my right thumb, which is fine. Um, I want to use both of my thumbs, though, 
because uh, certain situations call for, you know, the left thumb. Like if I had a question mark, I'd rather hit the spacebar with my left thumb rather than my right thumb, for instance. Um, and just kind of refining that kind of stuff. But that's going to take, you know, a few weeks to, to kind of refine. When I first started out earlier today trying to type and hit the, the space bar with my thumbs, my uh, my typing speed drops to like 70-ish immediately. Just just like right out the gate, just like 70. It was like, just cut my typing speed in half. <laughs> Terribly brutal. Um, I'm back up to about 100 average now. Which is, uh, you know, a hundred words per minute is, uh, as I've said before, I think the minimum for me to personally feel like I'm uh, not just completely wasting my time when I'm writing stuff. So I'm, I'm comfortable with that at least. It's it's okay. Um, but then... Uh, I've also got to... Uh, oh, what a shot, dude. Um... Continue to, to work on this, continue to refine the, the typing strategy and, and get better at it. Um, and I, I should see an improvement in, in you know a few weeks from now, maybe a month or two. I uh, should, see, should see an improvement. My best race with the thumb typing, thumbs for the spacebar, was a 134, I believe. Which is like a really good race. You know, yesterday it was an average race for me. So I'm not like, I'm back, you know, Come see me. <laughs> at all. Um, but, you know, one, one, hitting 130, it, it shows that there's there's room for growth, that I'll be able to, to continue doing it. I just have to, to continue getting better, right? So I, uh, I've i started doing that. People in the type race, oh, I love it. I uh, they, they get me, you know? It's, it's a great place to be. Um, but they're like, wow, you're like... Learning it real quick because <laughs> you're we doing some races, and I was like, over the races, just actually like visibly getting better at it. Starting out at like 70, and then a few races later, I'm doing like 100 words per minute consistently, and they're like, wow, you're doing like awesome. That's awesome, dude. I'm like, heck yeah, dude, it is. And uh, yeah, a few, a few more days, I should be able to, to consistently hit maybe like 130, I'm hoping. Not every time. I don't think my average is going to be 130 in uh, in a few days, but I think I'll be able to consistently hit it in a couple of days. I'm hoping to get to like uh, fairly consistent like 120 today. After I finish uh, recording, I'll, I'll do some more races, more practice. Hopefully, get to 120 average, maybe even today. It's, it's kind of hoping. I think I can do it if I put the time in. Um, But uh, Down you go. it'll be uh, it'll be it'll be work. It's work, you know. And I'm excited for when I'm for you know like a few weeks from now when I'm done <laughs> and I've learned this new typing strategy and I don't have to you know worry about um, learning. I don't have to worry about like building up the muscle memory and all that. Honestly, the hardest part about um, using your thumbs for space when you're not used to it isn't actually hitting space with your thumbs. Like, that's easy. Right? That's that's no problem. The hardest part is that because you're now hitting your the space bar with your thumbs, your hands kind of get naturally, hold, like, remain in, like, a different position than what you're used to. Um, and from that position, that new position, different fingers are used to hit different keys. Right, so when when you change your thumbs, you know, because I used to hit my the, in, the space bar with my index finger, and I'd, I'd do like a a 160, 170 as a, as a high on like a on a reasonably long course, you know, like a 10 word, like a short little burst thing. I could do like a 195 ish, but on like a medium length, maybe like short to medium length quote. Uh, typically, like, my, my, my high would be about, like, 160 to 170-ish. Actually, I talked about, um, recently moving to a more aggressive typing style where I, I just kind of, like, pushed it really, really hard to, to get out as many characters as possible, and I was just going to refine my accuracy over time. That was a big difference, too. Um, my average went up by about 15 words per minute, 
uh, since I started doing that. So that was that was a huge improvement. But I've stagnated again. So I'm like, all right, it's time. It's time for like another improvement here. You know, it's, it's time to to add in something that's going to actually save me time on on like the average key press. You know, and uh, space is definitely an important button. So uh, so saving time on that one is is going to make a big difference. I, I can feel it too, you know, like I, I, I type like a 130 or whatever and it feels just so much more relaxing. It feels so much slower, you know, like when, when I have bursts in a race that are, that's like 140-ish even, like 150. Because I can do a burst of like 140, 150 depending on the words. Um, you know, I do a burst like that, it feels so slow, you know what I mean? And, uh, so, going for um, this like new typing style with the thumbs for spacebar, definitely gonna have some improvements. Uh, I like I, I can tell, I can see it right now as I as I type as I, and as I type well, I, I can see how much easier it is. Like it's really really hard. It's actually like really wearing my uh, my arm out and my wrist on my right hand especially. As I'm like mashing the key, that I like that muscle for hitting the, the space bar with my thumb. That's not developed, right? Like I don't use that on my right hand. On my left hand, yeah, all the time, you know, jumping in games. But my right hand, nah. The thumb doesn't get used very much. Um, and, and we're talking like, you know, for with 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 with, with you know, tens of thousands of of you know uses a day kind of thing, right? Like not just. Like a little thumb, you know, hitting, picking stuff up or whatever. Like a proper, there's actual like exercise going on on that thumb <laughs> every day, uh, and uh, it's not used to it. I feel, I feel it. I feel it for sure. Um, so I have to build up the. I can feel it like in my arm, in my forearm, you know. All the the tendons and muscles and everything that are being used to to move that thumb. Um, definitely feeling it. So I'm gonna have to build that muscle up, I guess, which is is strange to think about, right? Like training your thumb, but like I can feel that it's a necessary thing to do. Um, so I'll uh, I'll have to do it. It'll happen naturally as I type, though, right? Like it's not like I have to go out of my way, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be feeling it. I'm gonna be sore for the first few weeks of typing like this for sure. But it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy typing. I enjoy uh, learning how to type better. I enjoy, I enjoy all of this, right? Like this is fun. This is my hobby. And uh, if this is what it takes to get good, then I'll do it. You know, if this is if this is what I have to pay to be a good typist. Well, I, you know, more specifically, I am a good typist. But if this is what I have to pay to be like one of the best typists, then this is the pay, the price I'll pay. You know. I've uh, I've definitely gotten a lot more competitive after getting into the Type Racer Discord. Before that, I uh, I was pretty content with being one of the best typists on the site. Now that I'm like there and I'm actually topping talking to people who are better than me, like I'm talking to a lot of the people who would regularly destroy me in uh, in Type Racer, right? And now that I'm talking to them, I'm like, nah. I need to beat these people. You know, like before I was just like, nah, whatever. If I'm not the best, I'm not the best. I'll be one of the best, and that's that. I'm content with that. No, no, no. I, I'm, 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 I want to be the best. There ever was. Like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Train them is my cause. That how it goes? How does it go? Um, I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Catch them is my real task. To train them is my cause. Oh, I can't. I'm, I'm gonna. I need to know. I wanna be the very best. That was with index finger spacing, by the way. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Teach Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon. And then, um, you know, the, you know the rest of that. You know, we know the rest of that. We don't really need help with that. 
Gotta catch them all. It's a good. Uh, it's a good theme song. We talked. I was talking about Pokemon last night, actually, with uh, with some friends. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, specifically. Well, we were talking about like all the Pokemons, but Mystery Dungeon was the one that really came up, or that was really the most noteworthy. Um, you guys ever played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? They're like really good. It's probably my favorite Pokemon game. It's uh, it's, it's a complete, like, you know. They're, 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 there's a big. They're, they're very different from a, a typical Pokemon game, but in my opinion, the normal, like the you know, typical Pokemon game loop is. I played it before, <laughs> you know. Like I like the Pokemon game. It's fun. I I stopped really caring after like Ruby, you know. I played um, red, yellow, and blue. I owned all of them, and I played all of them. Um, same with gold, silver, and crystal. I believe I still have all of those. No, I don't have blue. Um, my mom made me give it away to uh, to one of my sister's friends. I was really mad about that, actually. Um, I didn't want to, but she she made me. Because, um, uh, you know, you don't get rights when you're a child, I guess. Anyway. Um, da -da -da. I played uh, played Ruby. I didn't get Emerald or uh, Sapphire. Actually, I might have got Sapphire too. I think I played Ruby and Sapphire. I never got Emerald though. My friend had Emerald, and he had like all the extra stuff that came with Emerald, and I was really jealous. And then after that, I think uh, like Fire Red, Leaf Green came next. Something fun. It was uh, you know, whatever. I didn't get it. Um, and then I think it was Pearl and Diamond. I did get those. I played those. Um, black and white. I only played pearl, I believe. Uh, black and white, I believe I played white. Um, X and Y, I believe I had X. Uh, there was black and white too as well. I didn't get those though. Um, and I think there's a new one out now. I'm just like... Eh. You know, I just for for me, I've I've played them. You know, like like it's it's it, it, the Pokemon for me. They're games where if somebody else buys one for me, I'm like dope. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm 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 gonna totally gonna have fun playing this game. If I go to the store and they're like, hey, you want to buy a Pokemon? No. The the answer will always be no because it's just. My money would be so much better spent elsewhere. And it's not like I want people to buy me Pokemon. It's that, like, if people do it, I'd rather they buy me something else. You know? Like, I guess the better way to, to say it is if I happen upon it, I'm not, like, not going to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to have fun. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to enjoy it. I just, I just, I don't think it's worth the price that you pay because it's the same thing. Like, what are they? It's, it's the same thing, you know? They're not changing anything from from generation to generation. It's just new Pokemon, and uh, you know, new NPCs, new playable character maybe. And uh, like to me, it, it feels more like a, a minor expansion to the to the game franchise than uh, than a whole new game. Pokemon is a service. Now that 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 I can get into for sure. You know, if they released, like, one final Pokemon game, like an MMO. And it was just like, this is the Pokemon now. I'd be into that. Now, obviously, that would be a very controversial decision for them to make. And it would be a very, very poor decision to make. Because the Pokemon franchise is huge. And people really like it. And they don't want it to, like, change. I just, uh, I'm, I'm of the camp that I, I think it should change. And that's why I like the, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon franchise so much. Is because, uh... They changed it from the norm, you know, they, they stepped away from what was expected of them and they, they tried something new and exciting and it worked out great. I was also a fan of, um, there's one where you have to like draw circles around Pokemon or something like that. I forget the name of that. 
trappers or something. That one was also fun. I never actually beat that one, but uh, I think that one was also good. Again, just because it's, it's stepping away from the traditional Pokemon thing, you know? Pokemon Go, I also love. Um, but just for me, when, when they make, like, the next Pokemon game that's just a reskin of Pokemon Gold with different names for all the NPCs, and the different Pokemon just have different pictures, it's just... Like, you could have just made it with a with a texture pack for for Pokemon Red, dude. Like, it's not... You didn't really do anything, you know? I mean, at least, at least it doesn't feel like it to me. Enough isn't changing for it to be worth, like, buying it. I understand how people some some people do like it though, because you just you just like, it, right? You're like, yeah, it hasn't changed, but I like that. I get it. You know, I still I still play KF2. I'm on episode 556 of KF. Like, I don't have any you know real uh, <laughs> real right to be talking about that kind of stuff, right? But for uh, for for me, it's just the Pokemon franchise. I'm only really interested in in the stuff that I get for free, or uh, or or the stuff that that kind of steps away from the the typical game loop and mystery dungeon did that and it was a fantastic game it was a very uh, emotional game i found very good writing and just a ton of fun it had that like dungeon crawling thing you got to have your pokemon and like use all your moves and stuff and like it had the the, the pokemon feel but it, it it was it was like wrapped up in a, in a in a genre of game that I just happened to like more, which uh, which I appreciated a great deal. I never actually I I owned it for a long time. I just I never actually beat it until like sometime early last year, I believe. I'd I'd owned the Mystery Dungeon for the DS, I believe, for uh, for quite a while. I just yeah, I never I never beat it. Until uh, last year sometime, when I sat down and I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'm playing through it. It might have been on the Switch, even. I might have bought it on the Switch and played through it there. So I think the, I think it came out on the Switch as well. They, they did a remake or whatever. But great game. If you haven't played it, play it. It's fantastic. Totally worth your time. If you, if you like Pokemon, if you like dungeon crawling, it, it's like... It's a dream, dude. It's so good. Anyway... That's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.